folks, Mickey Mouse here. You may know me and my pals from some of the films we've been in. <laughs> yup, we've sure spent a lot of time in cartoon studios like this one. But good old Walt, he was the best friend a mouse could have. He gave me my start, you know. Why, if it weren't for him, there'd be no Disney movies to grow up with and no happiest place on Earth. Gosh, <laughs> I guess I'd be out of a job. <laughs> well, as Walt used to tell the story, it all started in the year 1901 in Chicago when a baby named Walt Disney was born. Pretty soon, Walt's family moved to a farm in Missouri where he spent the happiest years of his life and had his first experience as an artist. It seems Doc Sherwood, this pal of his, had a horse he wanted drawn and Walt, uh, well, why don't I let Walt tell the story in his own words? I'm one of five children. Most of my childhood was spent on a farm in Missouri making hard working jobs. At age of 16, I lied about my age to serve in the military, and later I was an ambulance driver in France for one year. Later, I decided to work in film advertising, something that I love, and with my colleague up, we formed our first company called Ogram Films, The later will become Walt Disney Pictures. The company began winning Academy Awards and quickly outgrew our studio. For example, Snow White was our first cartoon to become a major motion picture and was the first one in Technicolor. We moved to California and Disney became a hit with films and expanded to live action films and TV programs. But my biggest dream was to create a family friendly theme park and since then we became so much more than animation. Through the years, Disney has expanded and partnered with numerous studios and companies around the world.